the lessons of community of spouses. Listen, one of the most challenging things a spouse can deal with is going through life, walking with a spouse that is unequally yoked, unequally yoked. It is important, more like vital for spouses to come in alignment with one another in order to do marriage life together. When you enter into the marital covenant, sometimes you may enter into the marital covenant being unbelievers together, or maybe one spouse is a believer and the other spouse is not. I highly, highly, highly emphasize this in my premarital sessions that it's good for spouses to walk together in agreement, like Amos tells us. It's good for spouses to come into the marital covenant equally yoked because when you come into the covenant equally yoked, it makes your battlefield a whole lot easier. Listen, this life is marriage forever. This mar this life as a, a healthy marital covenant, it takes work. It takes work. And one of the most challenging, most frustrating, sometimes even afflicting things that a spouse can ever deal with is dealing and walking with a spouse that's unequally yoked. Listen, one of the things I emphasize in my premarital sessions is for spouses to come into relationship, to come into relationship with Christ. How can you do a spiritual uh, um, covenant? How can you do a, a spiritual covenant in a natural in a natural way? People are so tangled up in thinking that marriage is all about the, the, the natural, all about the flesh. And it is not. It is not. Marriage is a spiritual uh, covenant. It's a spiritual covenant. And so you have to have some type of understanding of the spiritual side uh, of the marital covenant before going into the marital covenant. I highly, highly, highly recommend spouses to come into agreement with Christ, to get in relationship with Christ before entering into the marital covenant. It will make a huge difference in your walk. Blessings.